Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. Today we will have our lesson number 84 in our vocabulary series. Vocabulary words, day number 84. Let's get going. Very first word we have here has to do with blaming someone. The word, the word is. 441 the word is cow oh well culpable what does it mean when you describe someone as being culpable well in order for us to understand that part we have to dissect the word the first part here cow means Blame and culpable able means worthy. So culpable culpable literally means someone who is worthy of blame. They are worthy of blame because they have done something wrong. Culpable means culpable means blameworthy. Blameworthy is going to be one word. It's not two. It's one word. Somebody who is responsible, somebody who is responsible for having done something wrong. For having done something wrong. If you say that Michael is culpable, that means Michael has done something wrong. Michael is the culpable one. Michael is the one who did it. I saw him. He's the culpable one. My, he is culpable. He is to be blamed. He is blameworthy. He was the one who did who did this. Another word which is very similar to culpable and means the same thing is you see culp again, blame. Culp means blame. The prefix here cul, blame. Culprit. Culprit again. Cul. Culprit. Okay, this is also a noun, that was also a noun. No, cul cul culpable is not a noun. This is the person, cul culprit. Cul if, you, if you describe someone as cul culpable, then of course if you're describing somebody, a description would be a, have to be an adjective. What the hell was I thinking? A culprit is a person. Culprit is a person. That's the difference between culpable and culprit. Culpable is an adjective. You're describing someone. You're describing someone as being blameworthy. The person that you're describing, person that you are claiming is blameworthy, is said to be culprit. Culprit is someone, is someone, it is a person, someone who is charged with an offense. Someone who is charged with an offense or a crime. Someone who is charged an offense or a crime is said to be culprit. Guilty of crime. Someone who is guilty of crime. I'm not writing everything here. Someone who is guilty of crime. Culprit. We will find the culprit. No matter how, it, how hard it might be, but whoever committed this act, we will not rest until we find that person. I promise you, we shall find the culprit. You understand? Let's learn another word. Let's learn another word, which also has to do with blame. But here, it has to do with removing the blame. I need the room, obviously. And the word is... As I said, it has to do with removing the blame. The word is X, that's the prefix here. The prefix X means out of or free from. X culpate. X culpate. X cul. What does it mean to exculpate? This is the verb. 
It means exactly what it says. To, to free someone from blame. Here's the culp. Blame. Out of blame. Culp. To free to free someone from blame. Which is another way of saying to excuse someone. To excuse someone for having done something wrong. To excuse someone from having done or to clear to clear someone of guilt or blame. I need the room, I don't want to keep squeezing here, let's erase this part. Sometimes you hear in the media of a situations where they use this term. To slow down here as we are saying it, exculpatory, ex, exculpatory, exculpatory evidence. Exculpatory evidence is an ex out of blame. Exculpatory evidence is an evidence that had you presented in the court, it would have freed the person from the blame. It would have proven the guy is innocent. He did not do it. Instead, police chose to hide all the exculpatory evidence. And therefore the guy was found guilty. Sometimes police do that. Where they find, because they are so anxious to blame this guy, that they find something that is opposite to what they are claiming, they just simply don't show it in the, in the court. And of course, mitra, mistrial, when it's later on found out, that that was done. Because all the exp exculpatory evidence was hidden, was not presented. Let's move on. As you notice here, being a non-native speaker here, and if you happen to be also a non-native speaker like I am, when you come across a word which has too many syllables in it, you have to make sure that you slow down, otherwise you will not pronounce it correctly. You have to slow down in the beginning until you have mastered it. Like here, you have to slow down. Exculpatory evidence. Exculpatory, exculpatory evidence. There is another word. Which means to, which means to free someone from blame, to find someone, to excuse someone, to forgive someone. Ik, ik zan, o, read. Now, to exculpate and exonerate, they are not exactly the same thing. Exculpate means. You're freeing someone from blame because you have some evidence now that shows that that person did not do that. That's why you're freeing them from blame, because person did not do that. You have some exculpatory evidence. Whereas, whereas exoner exonerate, exonerate means that we know that you're guilty, but we're going to forgive you, we're going to excuse you, we're going to let it go. To forgive. One more time here. Exonerate is the word. And again, if you want to dissect this one, if you want to dissect this one, here is how it goes. X, of course, means out of or free, out of or free from, free from. And the next part has to do with onus. We learned this word. We learned this word on day number 74. Today is our day number 84. We learned the word onus on day 84. Onus is a burden. Onus is a burden, not burden. Burden, of course, is a noun. Onus is a noun. Burden is a noun. And if something is a burden, how do we describe it? What's the adjective of burden? If something is a burden, we describe that as being burdensome. If something is an onus, we describe that something as onerous. Onerous. But that's what it is. X and then honor. It comes, this part comes from onus. 
So you're freeing somebody from burden. You're freeing somebody from burden, burden as in blame. You're freeing, they no longer have to carry that burden on their shoulder, they no longer have to carry the blame because you excuse them, you forgive them. It means to forgive. Exonerate means to forgive. To excuse, to excuse, or to forgive for having done, for having done something wrong. To free someone, it can also mean to, it also means to free someone from a responsibility, an obligation, a duty, or a burden. So if you were supposed to do something, it was your responsibility, it was your obligation, it was your duty, it was something that you had to do, and this person says, all right, fine, we'll, we'll, we'll let you off the hook, you don't have to do that. We, we know you were going very fast and you were supposed to pay a fine, you were supposed to pay a $200 fine, it's okay, we're going to waive your fine, we're going to forgive your fine, you no longer have this obligation, you no longer have that obligation here. Exonerate. Take away the onus, take away the burden. Do you understand? Let's learn one more word where you will see the Greek, letter, Greek word kulp, which means blame. I need the room, obviously, as always. We're going to have to raise it. The next word that we're going to learn, so again, it's not to be pronounced X. The first syllable is not X, it's ig. Exonerate, exonerate. Exonerate means to forgive, to excuse. Excuse either from having done something wrong or something that you were supposed to do, and you say, all right, you don't have to do it anymore. It could be any duty, it could be any duty, any responsibility, anything that you were supposed to do. The next word that we're going to learn is actually not a word, it's an expression. It has two words in it. It's a noun, it's Latin. Mea culpa. Mea culpa. Mea means mine or my, mine or my, and culpa means fault or blame. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a law term. It's a, it's a term that is used in the law in, in the courtroom in the in the in the courtroom drama. It's a legal terminology. It's a legal terminology. It's a term for. Uh, it's a jargon from from law. Mea culpa simply means to acknowledge your fault. You, you're telling me. You're telling the person. Yes, I admit it. It's my fault. It's my fault. Mea culpa. To acknowledge. To acknowledge. Your fault. To admit. To admit. To admit your guilt, to admit your guilt, to admit your fault, and it's called mea culpa. Bye now.